Hi, today's devotion comes from Jeremiah chapter 27, and it goes like this. Early in the rule of Judah's king Zedekiah, Josiah's son, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. This is what the Lord said to me. Make a yoke of straps and bars and wear it on your neck. Then said word to the kings of Edom, Moab, Ammon, Tyre, and Sidon, through their representatives who have come to Jerusalem to Judah's king Zedekiah. Tell them to say to their masters, The Lord of heavenly forces, the, Lord, the God of Israel, proclaims, Say this to your masters, By my great power and outstretched arms I have made the earth and the people and animals that are on it. I can give it to anyone I please. Now I hand over all these countries to my servant King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. I even give him the wild animals as subjects. All nations will serve him, his son and grandson, until the time for his land arrives. Then many nations and great kings will conquer him. As for the nation or country that won't serve Babylon's King Nebuchadnezzar and won't put its neck under his yoke, I will punish it with sword, famine, and disease until I have destroyed it by his hand, declares the Lord. As for you, don't listen to your prophets, diviners, dreamers, mediums, or your sorcerers who say to you, don't serve the king of Babylon. They are lying to you. It's an interesting uh, chapter, this chapter 27. It's basically the hinge of the whole book. It's 50 some chapters long. The king of Jeremiah, the uh, book of Jeremiah. And this is the central chapter in it. And in here, we hear sort of the summary of everything that has happened to this point of the prophecy. And we get a preview of what will happen in the rest of the book. Now here, Jeremiah is talking about an invasion that's coming. It's probably the year 594, 593 BCE. And Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, has overtaken the Assyrians. And he is getting ready to attack Syria. He's going to take over Syria which is just north of Judah's kingdom. He's going to take it over and eventually work his way into Jerusalem. And here, the message that Judah said, that God tells Jeremiah to send to Judah is, get along with this guy. Get along with King Nebuchadnezzar. He's doing what needs to be done. In chapter 27, verses 5 through 7 are the most important ones. It talks about God's hands and outstretched arms making this possible. And it reminds the people of Judah that pride is going to be what brings them down. That the certainty of their own knowledge is what is going to cause them pain and destruction and famine. If they just listened to Jeremiah, who said, trust this King Nebuchadnezzar, give yourself to the him and all will be well. But the people of Judah didn't listen because they were prideful and because they thought they had the right answers. And it's this pride and this certainty of focus and this narrow vision that leads to their ultimate destruction and exile.